How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to AB settings in Reaper. Now, ABing settings is one of the most important things we could do as we're mixing. Because sometimes we change things and it's hard to tell if we made them better or worse, or just made them louder. For instance, let's say we're working on the snare drum right here. Let's solo it. We could add some EQ to it which will make it sound a bit louder, or add some compression, and be tricked into thinking we made it better. So A being the setting, both on and off, is really important. So let me show you how I do it in Reaper. Let's say I'm working on the snare here. I have some effects on it. We have a compressor and an EQ. And I wanna make sure it actually sounds better in the track against the rest of the drums. So here's what we could do. We could duplicate this track, right click, duplicate tracks, and we could use the feature for muting a track in Reaper. By default, if we select a track, on the Mac hold on Option, on the PC hold on Alt, and hit M, it mutes that track. But it's a toggle mute. In other words, if we do it again, it unmutes that track. So if we select a track that's already muted, like this one, and a track that's not muted, like this one. Now if we hit that key command, Option M on Mac, or Alt M on PC, it flips them around, because each one is toggled independently. So I could take the duplicated snare and remove these plugins. So now this snare track has no effects on it. So you could hear that against the drums, And just by hitting that key command, we can now hear it with the plugins right here. And what makes this really powerful, having it on separate tracks, is we can change the volume of each of them to match right here. Now, because both are selected, if we move the volume, they're going to move together. So instead, hold down shift as you adjust the volume. We'll start with this one. and get it how we want it to sound with the rest of the drums, then hit that key command and do the same thing with this one. Now we can toggle back and forth as we hear the track and decide which one sounds better. It makes it a lot easier to tell if we've improved it or it's just a bit louder. And we could hear it in context with the rest of the kit. Let's do the same thing with vocals. So here's a vocal track. Let's see what it sounds like now. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. And there's plugins on this track as well, right here. We have a compressor and an EQ, and we also have some reverb and some echo. Now let's say we want to change these sounds around to try something different. And again, we want to A-B it to see which way is better. It's really easy to do that by duplicating this track, change the settings on the second one, maybe turn this off, or change the reverb or echo, and then simply mute one like this, select them both, and A B it as we hear it in the track. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. And we can match the volume right over here. I heard about the things that you done before, but I thought I could change all your ways. I heard about the things that you but I thought I could change all your ways I guess deep down I knew what you had in store I'm done running around in your mains. No, I So by doing it this way, we can make a better decision. And we could also do this with multiple tracks. Let's go back to our drums. Let's say we wanted to change all the drums around. 
change the balance, change the compression on the room mic, and create two separate drum sounds so we can compare them. We could duplicate them like this. Right click, duplicate. Now we have two sets of drums, the original and the duplicate. So we can mute these and do our adjustments to our first group and select them all. Hit that key command, adjust these drums differently, and then we can hear it in context with the rest of the song. Drums one, and drums two. And again, by holding down shift, we can adjust the volume for each track individually. So anyway, that's how I A-B settings or compare settings in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.